also wearing this nice jacket today. <laughs> it's Paul Sakala. Look at this. Is this new, Paul? It's not me. Trust me. I don't. I only wear this at work. All right. Thanks a lot. Some of the best PGA players of all time spent nearly a week right here in the old Pueblo for the 2019 Coligar Classic. Much has been made about some of the movie stars and sports celebrities who've made it to Pima County again for the big journey. But how about the A-list pro golfers and one professional with Tucson ties, Willie Wood. Let's pick things up on hole three for the Sabino High School grad and two-time state champ on the Tucson, Willie Wood. He'd begin the day at nine under, just one off the leader, Mark O'Meara, he'll par hole three. And later on hole four, Willie Wood will putt the ball in as dozens of Tucsonans cheered on the native son who is now relocated to Oklahoma. And on hole 13, the leader coming in, Mark O'Meara, will be up by four strokes, and this is why he has been so dominant here in Tucson over the last three decades. With just a pitching wedge, he landed just a few inches from the hole. And on hole 18, with a comfy four-stroke lead still, O'Meara for the victory. See, si, senor. Yes, sir. The conquistador's golden helmet is going to fit nicely on Marco Mira's head. You're looking at the 2019 Cologar Classic winner after shooting a 66 and ending at 17 under par. We have the complete leaderboard on KVOA.com. You know, it's a dream come true. Certainly the first day, you know, running it over the edge in the first hole, they're making eight straight birdies and, and really playing well the first day. And today I knew there was going to be a lot of pressure. You know, it's been nine years, like you said, since I've won. And, you know, to play the front nine the way I did, make five birdies, um, you know, I'm really happy. I'm very, very pleased. Thanks. Hey, congrats. And hey, don't forget, tens of thousands of dollars are raised every year for charities here in the Old Pueblo through the Tucson Conquistadores. And it goes beyond the money raised to help kids here in Tucson through the charity route. The Color Guard Classic has also brought in celebrities to bring in money to fight colon cancer. I had the chance to catch up with Alfonso Rivero, a.k.a. Carlton from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, right in the old Pueblo. It's probably what it means for you to be taking part in something like this, having fun golfing, but also uh, helping out the, the community and raise money. You know, it's absolutely uh, awesome to be able to be part of this. Um, you know, to come out here and support the Cola Guard um, and really the, the charity. You know, it's a, it's really awesome for Tucson and the people here. Um, they've, everybody's been so hospitable. Um, I've really enjoyed it. And meanwhile, the Old Pueblo's newest professional sports franchise, the Tucson Sugar Schools, are suiting up for their first game ever in San Diego. The franchise co-owner, Ali Farhang, has joined it, Kevin and Kathy Guy to bring the Professional Indoor Football League to Tucson. The first home game will be a week from today. But hey, the first game in franchise history for the Sugar Schools is in San Diego starting at 6. I'll have complete highlights on News 4 Tucson at 10 p.m. Meanwhile, it was the last home game of the season for Coach Adia Barnes and the Wildcats. They'd host ninth-ranked Oregon State. Let's pick things up in the final seconds of regulation. Arizona trails by two, and Dominique McBride will can the clutch three. This game will be sent into overtime at 52 all. In fact, the game will go into double OT. Now, Arizona down by two in the double overtime with just about a minute left, and Aaron McDonald's rejected. Then, down by three with under 40 seconds left, and Aaron McDonald gets the ball again, and she's rejected again. But one last chance for Arizona, still down by three, off the mark. Uh, there's the shot, no way. The Beavers hit their free throws down the stretch. The Cats fall 65 to 60. Quickly, Coach Jay Johnson and the UVA baseball team came back to beat Milwaukee, Wisconsin 12 11, while Coach Mike Candre and the Arizona softball squad beat 19th ranked James Madison 8 6. And don't change the channel. After the break, we will analyze one of the worst losses for the Arizona basketball Wildcats in decades. We'll be right back, Jack.